So today we're making something we never tried before. Um, this is some halibut I'm cutting up right now. And we got some lingcod, we got some chum salmon, and we're gonna try to make some fish bowls, fish cakes. So, never tried it before, so we'll see how it goes. So Rod, you've told me that you've never made the fish cakes before, or mm -hmm. fish bowls. How, what do you do it? Like, you, did you research recipes prior to wanting to film this? Well, fish cakes or fish bowls has always been a pretty typical Asian, I guess, dish, I guess. I've, I've had it since I was little. And uh, I'm just kind of interested though if we can try to make this on our own. And I, I did look up quite a few different recipes and they were fairly similar on what you can do. So the first step is actually just cutting these up into um, really fine pieces so that they can blend in with, um, with all the other ingredients. Who's the Fruit Loop fan in the house? So this is about a pound. So I'm gonna put some green onion in there. I'm gonna crack an egg and put it in there as well. We have to do this. Salt. So I'm gonna go with two and a half. Just based on the pound of, pound of meat. Two and a half teaspoon garlic powder. Hmm. Skeptical. A little. Okay. I, I, have no, I have no idea if it's going to be salt. You said a teaspoon and a half of salt. A uh, two, two and a half teaspoon. Two and a half teaspoons of yeah. salt. Yeah. Teaspoon, not table. Yeah, tea. Is but it's still two. Meat, that's not. This doesn't seem like a pound the way. Um, bit of cornstarch. Cornstarch, anyways, just to bind it better. They're not big, they're perfect. Yeah, so you can make them however big you want it. Yeah. But I think this is the ideal, kind of like a bite size. So the reason I use cornstarch instead of uh, regular flour um, is it gives it a more of a bouncy texture to it, and that's very typical of Indonesian cooking. You know what? Don't even say anything. Just take a bite. Yeah. And and all of us smile after. Okay. Oh my gosh. No, you can get You're not you supposed to say anything. Like, oh my gosh, it's gross or oh we don't know actually. No, I'm, I'm, okay. Mm. We'll film me in the first. No, I didn't follow the recipe. What did you there put wasn't in? Recipe, what, yeah. what did you put in? I'll tell you afterwards. I'll try one. Nina has a great poker face. And you suck at your poker face too. You can see, I see you smiling. Mm. It's not bad. I think a little more sugar for me. A little sweeter, but I actually I can taste the onions. I can taste the garlic. It's 
so salty. What? It's a little salty. Honestly, good for him just like going at her and throwing different ingredients in randomly, but. To turn out that good? Yeah. <laughs> and the texture, like salty. the cook is good on it. It's not too salty. It's, I don't think it's too salty. Yes, maybe a little bit more sugar, mm -hmm. but it's not too yeah. salty. Added more sugar. Yeah, the yeah. fry's good, yeah. I like how it has that crisp coat, but just more. Uh, yeah, I thought it's a little salty, but. I was expecting the, the flesh to be, the, the meat to be not as, um, not, not as, not as dry, more, more pasty actually. This is still not pasty enough. Pasty, what do you mean? More, more grounded, more grounded. Mm, I didn't mind oh. the chunks of hell. I was going to say, I didn't yeah. mind the chunks, but do you want yeah. to maybe process it then? Okay, so we kind of got the texture right. We just got a... More sugar. More sugar. And it's salt. Okay. Well, let's add some sugar into that batch and then try it again. So I'll try doing the second one. Okay, I'm not doing all of it. I'm not doing all of it. That's probably... That's better? That's Maybe that's perfect. two. <laughs> no, that's a just lot. A little, like, just like, it's like little grains, right? Just a little... There we go. A little that's grains. Gonna be good. You almost could have like a little bit of sriracha in it or yeah, something so like, you don't dip it. But it maybe you'll like make the sesame meat oil more dry. Sesame oil would be good. Yeah, actually, it might be. Why don't we do a little sesame? Just a little but just, bit. Uh, just tiny amount. Can I see? That's it's good. That? Yeah. There you go, Allie. Yep. We should make one giant one. I couldn't wait. Allie's on a. Are you? Is that your second? Thank you. Thank you. Whoop, Allie. Mm. I couldn't help it. It's way better. Yeah. Standing over here flipping, not being able to taste this. You can taste the sesame oil too. You can. It was necessary. This one. Do you want to try one? Do you want to? Thoughts, questions, concerns. Compliments. Hmm. It's much better. So this is the second batch um, we're making. It's link hot. No, it's very pasty. Yeah. This smells better than the other ones, too. So they look better. This one actually has more flavor. Yeah. Than the halibut, and it's not as dry. I prefer it's the texture enough. of the lingcon. Yeah. yeah, it's more mushy. I need to almost eat like one and the other. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, I thought this is. Flake here, like the texture is almost like crap, a little bit. Ooh. That's how I describe it. Yeah, well, this one was more hard chunks of halibut. Yeah. But just the way Lincoln is, it's well, just. Well, Lincoln is fine, Yeah, right? it's fine, right? This is our very first time cooking fish cakes. And if you guys have done it before, we're always open for suggestions. So please leave them in the comments below. Or if you have like different spices that we can add to next time or different species that you like, um, Rod and I always like to hear. So. We can learn and try it from you guys. And until next time, good luck eating. <laughs> no, don't say that because they're not, we're not trying to kill them. Okay. <laughs> until okay. next time, good luck fishing. Okay. Fruit Loops is amazing. Fruit Loops and Corn Pops. Oh, so good. Once I made meatballs and I put, I put um, instead of putting two and a half teaspoons, I put two and a half tablespoons. Oh no, I saw. And it's, yeah, and it's, it was very, Maybe the sugar will balance it out though. It was very salty. It's any good? You're cheating. I couldn't wait. I don't know whose fork was who. I was thinking I put the fork in the middle. We're not doing chow because we overate. <laughs> we're not doing chow because we overate? Yeah. That makes sense. As we're still eating though. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking of a little t-shirt.
long t-shirt. 